Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. How is everybody doing? You know what? Thank you. 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 I think I broke myself. How you doing everybody? Welcome. What? Well, hello. Oh, I got something on my tooth. Hold on. Well, hello everybody and welcome to another episode. Man, hold on. I almost got it. I almost got the intro. Give me a second. Well, everybody, hello. This is a wicked witch of the West, mythical sausage. Oh man, oh no, that's not. I'm not. That's not right. Hold on, give me a sec. One more. Shrek, what, what, what are you doing in my swamp? That's wait. That was a mix of the wrong two characters. Hold on. Well, hello, everybody. Bubbles, get out of it, man. Bu what? Hold on. Bubbles wants to get on my lap. Give me a sec. Let me take take seventeen. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of ASMR with Sausage. How are you doing today? Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing so good. I don't even know, man. Sometimes whenever I record these things, you know, I, I'm a one take boy, one take sausage. I don't even need to do like two, three, 75 takes or nothing. It's just press record and go, man. I, I'm so good at this uh, YouTube thing. How's everybody doing? Man, hopefully you guys are doing great. Today, man, man we're gonna have some fun. We did a real cool poll last episode. I asked you guys, I did a little bing and then the poll came out. I don't know if some people didn't know how to find it. It's totally on the top right section of the YouTube thing. It's like a little an exclamation point or, or an I. I don't even know what it is you click it you vote and we decided where are we going to build next and you guys man a lot of people are in love with that brand new village that we've been working out and i'm in love too because man you know what i love me a good nice little quaint village uh, with basic materials with some cobble and stone and spruce make it really cool tiny something that you guys could build along with me something simple and cool uh and, and i love bringing it back every once in a while doing like a small simple little village and you guys did too i'm looking at the poll results right now 34 percent said stay in the village 16 percent said go to the witch's side 10 percent said go to oblivious back to the city nine percent wanted to go to the elves only nine percent nobody likes elves man man you guys man it's fine i will go there one day and then also 28 percent almost most beat are staying in the small village. 28% wanted to go to the dwarves. And you know what? That, that's a pretty good number. You know, after this episode, the next episode, I'm going to give you a little tease of what the dwarven builds are going to look like. Okay, just wait. It's coming. But uh, let, let me go ahead and say a big, big thank you. After the last episode, we had three new Patreons that are jumping on the server, and it's going to be so much fun. I'm going to see if I can do a stream on that later today. Uh, uh, just be on the lookout. Just follow me on Twitch, Mythical Sausage. And just put notifications. Karate chop the notification button right in the face, uh, and um, you'll, you'll know when I go live. But I always put uh, notifications everywhere. I put it on Twitter. I put it on Discord. I send the Raven over to Winterfell. It's crazy. It's amazing. Uh, but let me go ahead and say hi to everybody right here. Where'd he go? Lady Rutrow. One of the greatest builders I've ever seen in my life. Lady Rutrow is doing some amazing stuff. You got to check her. Ch put that name right now on uh, on your on your YouTube uh, on a separate page. Don't do it now because then you'll leave me. Uh, put that. Lady Rutrow. Wow. We, amazing stuff. Uh, and then we got Dragon Lady 63. Uh, and then we got Nobody. This is for you. This could be for you. Uh, and then we have uh, Sir Valker. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, and and oh, on an extra one. We have two extra ones. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. But let me head down to our beautiful spot. I love this area so much. Uh, let me head down to our beautiful a little spot over in the village and we'll do uh, some building. I got a good idea for today. All right, let's get this started. I am in love with this village, man. I'm not surprised you guys picked this. This is looking so cool. I love the shapes of these houses, man. This one's going to be pretty cool. I should knock this down so I can take a good screenshot and have to rebuild it. Uh, but we're going to do a diagonal, a full on complete diagonal. And then this is going to convert into the greenhouse. I think I'm going to put the little greenhouse back here. And again, it's a very small greenhouse, not going to be a gigantic one, uh, just to keep some nice little plants and stuff like that. Uh, we might even maybe put a little back part here too. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I got a, a basic shape, basic outline. Oh, and we came off a really cool stream a few days ago here from this world. We had fun 
fun. We did some exploring. We did some mining. We got a bunch of diamonds. Uh, man, I think it was the luckiest diamond, uh, diamond, diamond mining spree I've ever had. We literally went down one straight line on the strip mine, and I think we caught like five pockets of, of diamonds. So, so cool. And now this is our diamond reserve right now. We got almost two stacks, and guess what? See this little tease right here? This is coming, I promise. We're gonna go ahead and find that Ender Stronghold City of lo a Lovely Amazingness and find a dragon very soon. But really, really fast, right now. This is the question of the day right now. We have a very lovely village, all right? Right now, we have one house. Uh, we have a house here, but this is technically a potter's, a clay pot spot. And then we also have this, which is going to be a greenhouse. We need probably four new types of housing business slash stuff. Because I want to have maybe just a couple just regular houses with no like literal purpose or no building. Just people lived in. That's it. But I, I need some obscure uh businesses okay so far okay because nobody really thought about doing a potter right here okay a clay pot maker uh but we have uh, i got a couple this is the my ideas but give me some down below some little obscure businesses something that we don't have yet in this in this city in this village in Santa Aaron or anything no blacksmiths no uh nothing nothing th that we've done before something completely new so in the comment section drop me some knowledge this is what i got so far as as example so i'm thinking about a beekeeper that is something I've never done in Minecraft, and I think it would be pretty cool to add it right here to this area. A little beekeeper. Maybe back there in the corner, because I don't want people to walk by accidentally and get stung in the face. You know, that's, I don't want to get sued or anything. I didn't know if they had malpractice suits back in medieval times. Whatever. That's fine. Beekeeper. Um, uh, another one that I really want to do is a, a charcoal maker. So people that just, you, you know, you make the charcoal or and stuff like that and then supply it to the cities and stuff. People who don't go mining and can't afford the mining coal because I believe that might be a little more expensive. So a charcoal maker, a little cheaper version of coal that people can buy it and, and, and use in their, in their spots. So those are the, the couple I got. But let me know, what else should we add? Remember, give me some obscure ones and, you know, maybe you give me some inspiration with my building next. So there you go. Also, we have our winner of the Potter's area. So uh, this is going to go to Minecraft Sekai. Minecraft Sekai, thank you so much. The name, oh man, this would you. This is going to be your name in here. It's Yonko Sama. And then the lore, awesome. I put a little book inside, so it's going to be super cool if you guys explore and check it out. The lore is really awesome. But uh, Minecraft Sekai, what is the name of the actual Potter's? He gave me awesome lore, but he didn't give me the name of the Potter. Let me know. I, I, I'm going to be watching. Okay, now, let's start building. <laughs> so, uh, the, the this diagonal is completely fully diagonal but we're gonna keep the same themes we have here this is gonna be the most basic house but at the same time it's gonna be diagonal so it's gonna look really really cool so we're gonna go with this same style but as a diagonal so the way we have those set up is we have corner bits so let's see if we can work this out together so the corner bits here are gonna be the same strip sprue so one two three four right then over here parkour uh <laughs> that hurt. one two three four right okay now let's go to this corner this is gonna be also a one two three four and then over here this will be this end hold on let's take this out this will be this end and then this will be a one two three four right then uh, this whole th this is gonna be the greenhouse, so you'll see the angle I'm gonna go with. But then, right here in these corners, this is gonna be a mix of stone and cobblestone. So let's take it all the way up and see how we can do it. I'm gonna put a little window right there in the middle, but first of all, let's close it off, and then we can put it after. So that'll be here like that, right? And then the way we have that is after that section. Well, I don't know if do I have any. Cro I have cross beams, okay? So the cross beams are gonna do it facing downwards like this. Hold on. Actually, we go too high. We went too high. We went too high. It's okay. Learning experiences with sausage. It, life lessons. Okay. We're going to put it up here. <laughs> We're going to put it up here. Uh, but then on the corners, how do we have the corners? See, the corners. Um, get out of here, Ben. Let me see you. Okay. The corners are stone as well. So let's do a little mixture as well of stones here. So let's do maybe that, that, that. And we'll put windows after. Diagonal windows are tricky, but I'll show you guys how we're going to do it. But let's go up like this. Okay, perfect. And then we get all my materials. Uh, and then we go in. Bam, bam, bam. Perfect. And then here, going bam. No, not there. Don't look at that bam. Okay, watch. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, there we go. Now, we're going to come this way. Let's do this one again. So let's mix and match. Let's take maybe that out. This out. 
Let's take all of these out. Let me put a bunch of stones. So stone, 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 cobble, cobble, cobble. Let's do a little stone, 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 and texturing with sausage is a thing. Now, we're going to go this way now. Now, over here, I'm going to build it up, but probably end up knocking it down uh, so we can get into our greenhouse from this side. So let's build all this up right here, right there. And I think that I went up too high. Yes, I did. Uh, and then let's go like this. So bam, bam, and bam, bam, bam. Okay, so we have these set up lovely. Okay, now next up, uh, the next section is what we did here is we have regular old, uh, I think, okay, here I did a little different. Here I went with some dark oak trim. Optifine, show the people. There it is. See a little dark oak trim. I think I might do it here too, just to break it up, but I don't have, do I have it? Yes, I brought it up so good sometimes. Then let's do dark oak here, here, here. Strip them. Let's get stripped. There we go. Uh, and then maybe one more here. Let's do another little strip job. Ba bam beam. All right, now let's do it again on this side. So we're gonna go up, 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 and boop. There we go. And it's a uh, strip, 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 and strip. there we go. Perfect. Okay, let's see how this is looking like. I like this. Okay, now this is gonna be the tricky part. Okay, doing the roof. <laughs> the roof is gonna be super tricky. Um, so I'm gonna go with the um, just inside borders first, and then we'll pop out stuff in the inside. Uh, I mean, on the outside. So for now, let me just do. I'm gonna do full blocks here. Let's do four blocks going like this, and we'll trim as we go along. Let's do four block here. Let's do, so this is going gradually up. Hmm. So I think I should do slabs, actually, because these are small inclines. Okay, let's, how about this? How about this? Let's do, let's do here. Let's, oh, I need my, where's my trapdoor? They lost my trapdoor. You gotta make trapdoors. Okay, that's fine. So let's do slabs here. Slabs here, here, here. Uh, here's fine. Then here we're going to go with another slab row right here. So it's going to be very gradually up uh, right there. Is that the second thing? The second thing? Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so let's go like that. Perfect. Then the next section will probably be, let me put full blocks here. So we're just going to move full blocks and, uh, and slab. Just going up to the center piece, which is here technically, right? So then once we get to here, uh, we want to do, let's see, how about we go with just for now, and then we might tweak it. Let's do a full block corner, full block corner, and then slabs going like this. Hold on, let's, let's use these as placeholder blocks, perfect. And then we go in, bam, 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 just like that. And let's get down, let me take, this, take a look. Oh, that might look really, really nice. Okay, and I don't know if I want stairs here or slab, but for now, let me look at let me look at it as slabs. <laughs> this is just trial and error. I haven't done a diagonal fully like this in a while in this style, in this style. Let's see, let's go back. Oh, I think we nailed that. I think we nailed that. Um, now on this front side, and I'll just mirror it to the other side. How about here we do this? Let's get stairs for this. Maybe a little stair action. Oh, it's almost getting that time. Stair here. Then maybe a slab here, slab here. No, that's full block, hold on. St oh, how about stair here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I like this. Well, maybe these corners are better if we do stairs like, the hello, no. Stairs like, the hello, excuse me. There we go, that's how I want it. <laughs> Something like this. It's nighttime. Hold on. Let me let's play around with this. Let's tweak this a little bit. Let me repeat whatever we did on that side. Let me do it on the other side. And we'll play with this middle bit because I think this one needs to be a little taller. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Where's my bed? Where's my bed? We're just going here. I like it. Check this out. So this is what we did. I, I went ahead and I put a couple upside down stairs there. You can still see that uh, dark oak in there. Upside down stairs also on the bottom trim. Kind of giving this little lip around. I like that. Look at that. It looks kind of like rounded off a little bit too. I don't know. I think it came out pretty cool. Down here, I mixed a little bit of uh, upside down stairs instead of the full slab row. And a little overhang kind of thing here to get into the front door. In the inside, plenty of space. Look at this ceiling. Isn't that cool? That came out... So, no, so, 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 so nice. Uh, I, I want to mix in maybe a little bit of trapdoor in there to add even more detail. And also, I put little trapdoors here on the edges uh, because without that, it looked a little bare. So, I put that just for a little bit more detail. I kind of like it. Uh, and then over here, mirrored completely to the other side. I love that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Diagonal fully. And now, if you can see the roof from the tippity top, let's go over here. 
Let me get a little watchtower action over here. There it is. I like that. What I did also, I added some trapdoors in certain spots just so you can see different elevation changes. I don't know if I want to break uh, up too much up here because it's already uh, very detailed when it comes to uh, diagonal. So I don't know if I'm going to do stuff like that by adding bush uh, or holes like we have over there. I'll have to find like that. Uh, we'll see. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> but for now, looking pretty cool. Add a little window here and a little window right there. Oh, and another thing. Remember how back in the uh, uh, OG episodes when we we're doing like a blacksmith and we send in the blacksmith, that's the only spot where we can get to craft actual tools and swords and weapons and stuff. And then for, um, uh, let's see, like the, the lumber yard, that's the only place to go get wood and stuff like that. So each building had a function. So since this is a clay pot maker, we're going to make this into a functional clay pot maker. So here is where we're going to do all our clay pots we can't do it anywhere else so uh wherever we get any clay we come over here and we smelt it the thing is this is a aesthetic only kiln um furnace whatever but i put um this hidden in here <laughs> so we have these hidden down there so this is pretty cool right that's really really awesome i love that so we're gonna have those here i got all the supplies that i have here to make clay pots no bricks just clay pots so it's pretty cool having a function for that but you know what come with me real fast i'm going to show you how we're going to do the back part so i broke this up because i don't think if we take it all the way down once we do our little overhang thing i don't want to break this up too much so i might have an entrance here to get in uh and then um it'll look cool just still attached but as a separate little spot to it so what i'm thinking about doing let's just go up with cobble for now and do like a base outline how we're going to do this and then we'll do it together oh wait i was actually doing uh glass over here hold on um yes it's it's totally functional for clay pots but i'm doing i was doing glass here too so wh whatever those this is for now there we go <laughs> i'm never using that again for glass we need a glass maker there you go there's another one all right so let's see i want to take this up this is a one so two three four then come in one uh come in one and here let's see let me see hold on one two three four come in and then bam Bum, bum. I don't think that's right. Uh, no, that's incorrect. So let's see. How about if we do this, uh, this, this, and this? Yeah, I think that's it. That's how I want it. Like a nice kind of half rounded shape. Uh, and I want it every two. So one here, one here. And then I'm going to repeat that. So take this up. Boom. Take this up. Boom. Take that up. Take these down too. And then we can go up one, two, three. Uh, over here take that up and then we'll knock down that bit and that bit there you go and then i'm going to just repeat this one again so one two take this up oh um whatever we'll just use this for now. uh take this up here take this up by two and it still connects in a way but it's kind of like its own little thing which is cool i gotta have to get rid of you i'm so sorry trapdoor i love you and i'm gone forever okay um <laughs> let's uh, let me come back over here let's finish this off so this just goes here this goes here that goes there and then take off that and that and that and again, I'm going to just mix and match as well over here. We're going to put some stones in here. Uh, and that's fine. So what I'm thinking about doing also is in between these, because I don't want it all glass. Because sometimes people make greenhouses and the whole thing is it's, it's, it's glass. And sometimes it just, it's too much glass. So I want to have like these little separations to there. But I do want to have everything here going up glass. So just glass like this. And we're doing regular glass so you can see good inside. Uh, so we're going like this, like that, like that, like that. And that is so cool. Now, I'm going to fill this all in. Let me do this quick off cami cam. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, stairs uh, and maybe slabs on top of this section here uh, and a door. And we'll come back and finish this thing off. This is looking really cool, though. What do you guys think of this greenhouse? I love whatever's happening right now. But hold on. It's going to get prettier. Give me a second. And there we go. What do you guys think? Oh, I love it. I love this. We added the uh, the texturing all around, uh, the little extra supports on the side just to give it a little bit more. Uh, the, oh, the entrance with the trap doors. Oh, that just adds so much more detail. And I was able to do a little terraforming over here just so we could fit uh, and then also turn the corner a little bit. Uh, I might have to terraform it just a little more just to make it look a little more natural because it kind of just cuts off there. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. I kind of like it. And it looks really, really cool. Uh, we still need to liven 
liven the place up a little bit, but oh, what do you guys think? Oh, I love it. I love this greenhouse. This is super, super cool. I'm inspired right now, but let's go inside. Uh, let me show you how we're going to set up the interior part of this. So uh, I, I went ahead and I just put uh, a little bit of some brightness in here. So uh, we have some oak planks to scatter all the way around. Right here, I want to put some tall uh, bushes, uh, not bushes, um, tall plants uh, over here, tall, the tall flowers, maybe some rose bushes or something to sell. Uh, and then on the sides, this is what I got in mind here. Let, let's see. So I'm going to put no blocks in the corner right here uh let's put some uh let's, let's make a leap first okay and then let's put some stairs upside down here uh how about a little slab action uh and i'm thinking how about we do hmm i think i want to do something here how about we do two note blocks here two note blocks here let's do some upside down stairs over this one upside down stairs here and how about we do an upside down stair here and here and a little bit of a trap door so we have extra spots up there to put more stuff. I like that. Uh, there we go. Let's do it again and again right there. Perfect. Oh, I love this. Okay. Um, I don't know if we could put something hanging up here. Maybe we could. I'm not sure. Well, well let's see. Let, let's work on this one first. So I'm thinking we could just scatter some flower pots all around here. Uh, do another layer right there let's drop a couple on top and you know what? i'm gonna leave some open almost like some of them were sold so we don't want to have all this filled up so you know what take that one out just like that so if you ever have like a little business like this don't fill it all up don't stock it all the way pretend it's being sold. some some of these are being sold and some of the town already came by so you don't want to stack it up too much so something like that right uh let's see that looks good i think in the corner i might put some cauldron action with bush uh, I'm gonna have to go get a different bush set because I want two different ones. So this one's the oak one. I might come back, maybe put the, the birch one with the with the bright yellowness on it. Mmm, that looks so cool. Um, and you know what? I'm saving this spot and this spot for 114. We can hang some lanterns over there. Well, technically, I can go to the end right now and go get some end rods, and that counts as a lantern and germs pack, but I'm gonna wait for 114 for that one. Uh, or until we go to the end. Either way, we gotta we gotta wait. Um, so for now, we just leave it like that. You know what? For now, I can just also do this just to give it a little bit of extra this. Uh, right Right there okay um for this i could put another row here i just don't want to uh oh i don't know hmm. yeah let's just do it i'm gonna put another row here uh and on the tippity top we could put a couple more of these bad boys and that's fine that could hang up there uh we could even continue this row and just take it all the way down uh maybe up to here maybe up to there let's see actually no let me get rid of this one uh where's my x Where's my Actually, I had the X right there. What are you doing? Uh, let's see. Let's just leave it to there. Uh, over here, hmm. We can also put a bush down, like a, a little planter box, too. We can make it un. Uh, let, let's, you know what? Let's go with an asymmetry. Uh, that's wrong. That's correct. There we go. <laughs> so I'll put a bush here. And on this one, we could do. Uh, let me get some of this puzzle. And then we could do. A little flower box on this one. So let's keep it uh, asymmetrical. Uh, we could even add another one over here. Maybe. That's fine. Ooh, that's nice. Little planter box maybe over here. You know, let's do another one. Uh, right there. And I can come back in here. We got some stuff. So let's put ferns. Uh, poppies, some of these guys. Let's go drop that, and you know what? Throw a little zebra somewhere. Uh, so let's move these around. So back here, I'm gonna have flowers. Let's see, something like that. Uh, over here, we can have plants. Over here, we can have more flowers. Let's see, this will be the plant side. There we go. Let's do one of those. Let's do one of these. Uh, maybe a little random cyclical action. Why not? Who cares? Uh, and then let's see, some more azure bruettes. Um, and then some of these, let's see, hmm, I don't know, I think this is all I got. Let, let me go get some more variations, and uh, I'll put more plants. Over here, i put saplings and stuff like that. Over here, we can put a little bit more bush action. Oh, this looking so good. Let me get some tall grass also, some tall plants. Uh, maybe some rose bushes, we could throw that in there. Oh, but it's looking so good. What do you guys think of this greenhouse? Come on now, <laughs> it's inspirational. All right, give me a second, we're almost done. Uh, let me do a little bit more detail work. Let me see what we can do as far as interior for here. Uh, and we'll be right back, and it should be close closing it out oh i'm in love <laughs> so cool man i love this greenhouse let me show you and also we're gonna need someone to work it so if you guys want to be the very rightful owner of this beautiful greenhouse shop of amazingness let me know down below give me the, your name let me know uh, some backstory some lore why do you get into the flower business and the plant shopping uh, uh, profession uh <laughs> give me a cool name for your shop too and i'll add you guys on the next episode so let's flip I love this thing. Beep. 
there it is <laughs> look how cool so we got the name ready to go let me know who wants it uh but look how cool added some uh, little flower boxes here on the side we added a nice little bit of flowers and bush action over here we did interior in there i'll show you that in a second and it's just looking so good added some life and look at this cool custom tree this is our version of an acacia tree and i love it i love it so much let me t t give you a little spin and spin spin i love it it's so cool different from any other trees we have here uh and i like it a lot i, I just played around with those shapes and it came out pretty cool also i have another custom one over here and uh, let me know if you guys want uh, me to do, uh, and I've been getting a lot of people asking me to do custom uh, tree tutorials, uh, like sh show conversions, like uh, what uh, an acacia looks like in default and what you want to convert it to. If you guys want to see that, put on the bottom in the in the downstairs in the comment section, put hashtag custom trees, and then um, I'll see how many people want it, and I'll probably end up doing it. Uh, but this is super cool. I love this version of the acacia. Best thing about making custom trees is to see uh, those little um, little holes you see uh, for like God rays to shoot through so cool i love it uh and then also let's go in the back let me show you the greenhouse the way we decorated it uh, i got rid of that little middle piece because it looked kind of dirty on the floor with the pots all spreading out to the wood so i just added another bench like section here and it looks so cool look look at this look at this thing with the god rays coming in and the sun shining through the glass oh this is just perfect i want to take give it let's give it a moment of silence that's a great moment right there. Thank you for joining me in that moment of silence. But I love it. Look, it's so cool. Let me show you some interior work. So for the inside of this, we were able to pack a couple extra cool stuff here. So a little bit of that hay carpet right here. Uh, we got a kitchen here. Oh, and look, we added, uh, if you notice, there's a little fireplace there. What house wouldn't be an amazing sausage house if you don't have a nice little fireplace in here? Uh, so we added up putting a nice little kitchen area on this side, a little seating area, and this little nook, this little corner, paintings, loveliness. Oh, I forgot to put a flower there. Whatever, that's a color. Uh, and then over here, bedroom action. Very nice. Um, yeah, it's a bedroom. It's tight, but if you can put a lot of stuff in here. Look at that. Uh, but yeah, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. Oh, I'm so excited to keep building. Let me know down below, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Give me some obscure shops that we can add to this spot. And we'll keep adding and making this place look very, very cool. And we're going to show that dwarven style build coming up very soon as well. So you guys get an idea how that's going to be. But look at this. I have no idea where the screenshot is going to be. I think maybe this angle right here. Oh, yes. Yep, yep, yep. That's probably a good angle. But <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very, very soon on the next episode. Oh, I love this world so much. Thank you for watching. All right, bye-bye.